Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay you guys, I am just coming at you with a quick video on what sold this weekend. So what sold this last uh, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, um, we'll go through, you know what, I'm not going to go into specific order today. I'm just going to go with what's in front of me first. And I'm going to try to stay out of the video because I am in my jammies. Okay, we have a Kimbo Slice UFC um, action figure. Okay, you guys can see it there. Let's see what that sold for. That sold for $20 plus $8.95 shipping. Okay. My husband probably spent $10 on this originally. Maybe eight. He bought that kind of a long while a while back. Um here's another one, another uh, action figure. It's a WWF um what is his name? Warlord. Okay. And that sold for you guys, this sold for good money. My husband probably spent somewhere between seven to ten dollars on this. We sold it for forty bucks, um, plus eight ninety five shipping. Okay. All right. Next, um, we just have a pair of um, not your daughter's jeans. Is that what the label is? Not your daughter's jeans. Okay. And there's the front, there's the back, and these sold for decent money, for good money, uh, $18, free shipping. Okay, put that over there. Like I said, I'm trying to stay out of this video. Hopefully I am staying out. <laughs> um, this was great. Okay, you guys, this is one of those things I always talk about that... Sometimes the brand isn't anything, but the style is really cool. So the style was really cool on this. And hopefully you guys are seeing this. The style is really neat on this. It's a boho hippie. Plus it was new with tags. I knew this came out of some beautiful um, little boutique somewhere. And someone never even wore it. So um, I sold this for, what did I sell this for? $15 uh, free shipping. I really wanted 1995 for it, but you know what? I took $15. <laughs> I spent two bucks on that, so a good deal. Um, on those jeans, on the not your mother's jeans, I spent how much were those jeans? I spent two bucks on those. So just to let you guys kind of get a feeling of what I got into the what I got into, how much money I've gotten into each item. Um these are a pair of Anne Klein uh, dress pants, size 12. Okay. Very nice. Just nice dress slacks, Anne Klein. Um, she paid full price for these. I was asking $19. She paid $19. I love when people do that. They don't even try to bargain with you. They just go, purchase. I'm like, yes, thank you. Okay. Hey, honey bun. Doing a quick video. Okay, this is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren um, blouse, extra large. Here it is. Very pretty. There's the back. Um, this sold for, oh, wait, those last pants, those last Anne Kleins. I spent two bucks on those, I believe. Let me just check. I'm just looking at my information. Just a second, guys. I probably should be. Okay, um, what did I spend on these? Two fifty on those Anne Klein pants from before. On this blouse here, I spent one dollar and sold it for twelve ninety five. Okay. Okay. Here's a really nice big look. This is a little set here. What this was is these are some U UFC action figures, and they had not done too well price wise. So we have a uh, Caro Parisian, I don't know, Antonio Nagara, and then uh, Forrest Griffin. Singularly, they hadn't done too well. So I went ahead and bundled those up. Hopefully I haven't been in this video this whole time. Oh, well, if I have, you guys just have to see my pajamas. <laughs> um, I bundled these up. So that's the thing you can do when, when things individually aren't worth that much. That you can really increase their value by doing a bundle. 
And um, because singularly these were just weren't worth very much, I put them all together and I was able to sell them for $22. I mean, normally you can sell these, you know, for, you know, $20, $30 a piece, but these three never really came up to be worth that much. But I got rid of them and I made some money on them and um, I charge $11.95 in shipping. So, okay. What else do we got? Oh, this is neat. My husband, let me put this here. My husband thought of this. His mother gets these little, um, these, uh, these number finds. But what's neat about these, well, they're not really that neat, but she likes them. <laughs> they're okay. But what's different is it's like when you circle the words, when you find it with like a word find, well, it's a number find. So you find the, the, uh, the sequence of numbers and they're very, actually very hard to find. So, um, he thought, you know what, let me pick a couple of these up and we can, you know, um, sell them as a set and charge a little bit more. So that's what we did. And they sold within a week. So, um, what do we sell these for? Oh, here's my information. Just a second. Uh, we picked them up for six and we sold them for 12. So, um, and two sixty shipping. So, good little profit there on these. Um, so that's a little, that's a good little tip, you guys. If you guys find things like this that are hard to find, and you can get them at a decent price and resell them at a decent price, you know, do your comps. That's a really good idea to do that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think I got everything. Yeah, that's everything. There's actually a few more things, but I'm waiting for a payment on those. So, um, like there's another one or two more clothing and another action figure. So there's three other things, but, um, that's, this is the bulk of it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and let you guys see what my sales were over the weekend. Pretty decent sales. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, you guys can, I am really, really, uh, active on Instagram. So go ahead and if you would join me on Instagram and I'll friend you back. And I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.